Hey guys, I'm Matt. Welcome back to our aquariums. Today for my Friday review, I'm going to be reviewing this little Fugal Edge 6 gallon tank behind me here. Picked it up off of Craigslist for a really great price, so that's one of the reasons why I got it. Otherwise, generally speaking, I wouldn't get this tank from a store just because it is pretty expensive. Uh, I think it's somewhere between $90 and $120, which frankly to me is a little bit more than what it's actually worth. So I picked it up for $35, um, didn't have the lights with it because the guy who had it kind of modified it for a reef tank, which, and he took the lights out, so, but I'm going to have to remodify it for, again, a reef tank, since uh, the lights I think it comes with um, aren't really any good for a saltwater tank if you're trying to grow corals or anything, or, and frankly I don't think they're that great for growing plants either in a freshwater tank. So either way you're going to have to be doing something with lights, that is the unfortunate side to it. The upside is it's a pretty cool little tank, um, nano-wise. It comes apart, you know, the top comes off here, uh, it's just a screen top, good ventilation. If it did have lights, they would be on this little swing bar here with a little uh, clicky, click pad light switch thing. Um, one thing I did like about it is it came with this filter, which I believe is a Fluval, it's like a 20 or something. Um, yeah, so it's like that, about that size, like a Fluval 20. And so it's pretty standard size. It's actually the same size as I have on my 25-gallon um, back here, which surprisingly is doing a really good job on that 25 all by itself. I do have a skimmer on there, a bunch of live rocks. So that's why I have such a small filter. It's more for flow than anything else, but still. Um, so that's the good thing about it. It's pretty standardized size filter. You could really, excuse me, could really fit just about any t size filter in there, you know, that, that fits its dimensions. I mean, the back here is really, really deep, so even a deeper filter that still fits these dimensions would be fine. Or you could slide a small canister filter in there, or really whatever you want to do. It's really easy. So, you know, I'm pull that out. So, you got that. Then, um, the other cool thing about this tank is the whole thing just comes right off the stand here. You know, it's not super heavy, it's just a little little six gallon tank, but the one cool thing about it, this poses a problem, but it is cool, is this lip right here. And this lip allows you to fill it all the way up and be able to see through the top of the tank as if you were just looking into the tank from any other angle, perfectly clear. And that's a view you don't really get a lot on very many tanks. So that's the one cool thing about it, it kind of uh, set it apart from other tanks to me for other nanos and other stuff is that you can look down on your stuff which isn't a view you normally get of your tank at all so that is cool so here's the other part of it, the stand the stand is I mean it's plastic so that's the downside, it's pretty strong plastic but it is still plastic and generally I don't like plastic but you know you get what you pay for and since I paid not too much for it, it's not bad um, there's the inside of that. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty deep all the way down. So, I mean, I was kind of thinking about modifying the filter on it, possibly putting a, uh, a bigger filter or something back here. But anyways, you have plenty of room for that. Here's the main part of the stand that just clicks in. Um, it's a pretty strong little stand. I wouldn't stick anything but this tank on it for obvious reasons, but still. And I might modify it in the future. I, I really don't know what all I'm going to do. But, so that's the tank. Now, there are some downsides to it. And I guess I'll just name off the downsides. Number one, as cool as this lip is, it doesn't allow a lot of surface area. So you're going to need, for gas exchange basically, um, in a normal tank you have the entire top open, or as open as it can be. And that's a lot of surface area to be touching, you know, with air so you can have gas exchange. But, smaller tank, and since you have only like this 4 by 6 or whatever it is opening, you're going to have some problems with that if you uh, don't have a lot of flow in there or don't have something going on to give you flow. I mean, the filter, I think, is going to give quite a bit of flow, but still, I've seen a lot of people that put power heads and other stuff in there. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, the other downside to that is it's an extremely small hole to get things in and out of. So, not only, uh, especially on a reef tanker, you're going to have to pick your live rock really well and make sure it fits in that hole and you can get it in and out if you if need be. Um, you're kind of going to have to work around, obviously, that 
that hole right there, which means it, you know, it doesn't give you a lot of movement. I mean, I can right now, but once you have stuff in there, if you put a lot of stuff in there, you're not going to be able to get your hands in there or anything else. So that might pose a problem with allergy control and what else, what else you might have to do in there. Um, the other downside to it is if you're going to put fish in here, which I would not generally recommend because it's six gallons and there's really not too many saltwater fish that I would suggest putting in a six gallon. Some people say you can. I've seen people do it. Not saying it can't be done, just saying I wouldn't personally do it. So, that, but that is the downside. If you're going to put fish in there, good luck catching them um, without taking everything out, which you have to do in a regular saltwater tank. Saltwater fish are the worst for trying to catch. Um, I've, you know, my brother, when he took down his tank, he had to pull literally every piece of rock and everything out of it to catch his fish. They're just that good. But, so that's the downside to that piece. The, uh, like I said, the other downside I see is that, um, you know, you're working, unless you modify, unless you modify the, uh, top here, that's how much space you got to work with for lights, if you want to still keep it all contained. The, uh, person I got this from just put an LED strip on the top here and laid it down, and that's what was working for, uh, for him, but, uh, yeah, so that's kind of the downside to that. Lighting's going to be kind of a pain, um, without doing some modifications, so, I guess what I would say is if you're gonna if you're gonna buy this tank from the store and you expect to build it into a reef, you're gonna need to be going in with the thoughts of changing it, modifying the lights, and dealing with some of the uh, well some of the problems it has like the small opening, um, the fact that I wouldn't really put fish in it. So, which basically what I'm gonna do with this hopefully is get a get some a small chunk of live rock as a centerpiece rest sand and do some mushroom corals and some pulsing zinnia and maybe some green star polyps depending on what I do for light but low light corals so I can kind of modify the lights inside there so it can take care of that little area and then I'm going to do a hopefully a colony of sexy shrimp which uh, four to six of them in there is really what I would suggest putting in there if you're going to do it shrimp or possibly a very small fish that can deal with small areas such as I've heard neon gobies can do it but I, I'm, I'm not personally going to put fish in there I don't think just because uh, just because I don't like putting fish in I, I really don't like putting fish in a 10 gallon tank I mean very rarely on the saltwater side will I put a fish in a 10 gallon tank um, so anyways that's what I got that's kind of my review for the day Good tank if you can find it on sale for, honestly, I would put the price somewhere between $50 and $60 of what I would pay for it brand new. If you can, look on Craigslist or use, that's always better, you know, because, and even if it doesn't come with the lights, like I said, it's still a good deal because you're going to have to modify the lights anyways if you want to grow coral. That's all there is to it. So, good tank, kind of cool, t cool little tank, going to look really cool because it's all self-contained. Haven't really had any tanks that look like that before, so I'm excited to see what it looks like. Um, definitely would give it a good rating. It's fluval, so they're generally really well built. Um, definitely like their filters and heaters and whatnot. So definitely just keep an eye out for more videos. I'm going to have uh, a setup video when I do set it up, and I'll, I'll be kind of charting my progress on it and what I put in it. So keep an eye out for those videos. Uh, like and subscribe, and catch you guys next week or whenever another video comes out. Later.